Hey guys, just the guy here with another episode of SevTech. I'm not quite sure how this episode's gonna go. Um, I've been. Oh, you can't see. Uh, because I'm in that dimension. But I've been exploring the Twilight Forest some more. And I found a, as you can hear those annoying little sounds of the goblins dying, a medium or small sized um. Get out of here. Medium or small sized um hollow hill and it had two spawners for those goblins in there so I put it in there and now I basically got an unlimited source of coal as far as I can tell all they drop is coal and then if you kill them personally the half broken iron picks which are not necessarily half broken but randomly durability picks unfortunately I never found what they call a uh, red cap saper or red cap goblin I just got things called bread caps and no name, and so I never got these advancements so far. I don't know what's wrong with those, but um, yeah. So I got basically an unlimited source of coal now, because I brought the spawners back. Um, I think it was in the last episode, but I had to move my wraith one in here, and I might have to pull my sword real quick. Um, while it is a nice source of glowstone, I just put it in here for now to get rid of it. Yeah, they're hard to see too. I don't know where he is. But, um, they go through walls, obviously, because they're ghosts. And that means they get outside of my mob farm, and they don't take any damage from, uh, the punji sticks. So yeah, I can't automatically farm them. Luckily, every time you kill one, you seem to get two uh, gold dust or glowstone or whatever it is actually they drop. So if I need some, I can just plop them down and kill them manually. But this is nice. I obviously don't need torch berries anymore. So I put my... Uh, So I put my skeleton ones at the furthest top, but I just have a big pillar going. It's not necessarily the best spawn to have them all in the same thing, but it's what I got going. I thought about moving some of this to being underneath me and then have the uppers or whatever transfer the coal up. I also thought about putting everything in storage drawers that are locked that filter it out so I can trash junk, but it's a lot of work and I'm hoping that the next phase has better stuff but anyways so my ongoing search into the hills has been relatively fruitless um other than the redstone or the red cap spawners I just found naga scales and other random crap nothing particularly useful no oh I did find uh, where's in this one I found this live root not in a chest but it was like those roots hanging from the thing, but it looked like it was covered in moss. And it just said roots when you looked at it. But when you hack it up, and it gave you the live root. Which is good, because you can use a live root, a gold nugget, and an iron nugget to make the raw ironwood materials. And this, you can use to make two ironwood it. So that's the only way you can actually make it normally. Unfortunately, the library seems to be fairly rare. Like, out of all the roots I saw hanging from the Hollow Hill thing I was in, only one of them was the live root. Um, the other thing you need it for is why I'm saving it, is to make the Celestial Altar, you need two of them. Eventually, I'll need that. Obviously, I think I have pretty much everything else except the Maze Stone. But yeah. But anyways, the plan for today is Redstone. I have Redstone now, right? And I noticed a couple things. One, I have iron spikes, which I could thought try to make and see what they do. So they're powered by redstone, damage on contact. If they count as player kills, that would drastically help my thing. Um, you know, otherwise the punji sticks are the same or better, and they don't take as much effort. They might do more damage, so it kills it faster, but that's not really an issue for me just yet. But the other thing I was really looking at was these um, chimes, right? Because they say uh, 
emits a redstone signal when raining or when empty passes through it. Now, I don't know if sugar cane growing will count as passing through it, but if it goes whenever it rains, and it seems to rain a lot here, I was thinking I could finally make an automated um, sugar cane farm. Because I have sugar cane, I have pistons, but I didn't have any other kind of redstone. Like, I don't have redstone torches, I don't have redstone repeaters, I don't have anything like that. And I know there was a way to make it with block updates, but I think they got rid of that and they patched it out. And that's why they have the redstone detector thing or whatever they added, like in Minecraft 12 or whatever. But yeah, so I was thinking chimes, right? Oak, right? Wooden pressure plate. We make one. Um, page five planks gotta be spruce planks. How many planks? Oh, I know I have planks. Oh, I wasn't on my crafting table, that's why. Although it should just work like that, right? Wooden pressure plate, yes. Planks molding, of course. Now, I have some. Siding. Um. Get rid of the string, there we go. I know I have molding. I might only have mulberry molding, because for a while there all my stuff was coming out of mulberry. Siding I need is the molding. Molding. Which if I don't have any over here. Nope. If I remember it's just running this through the saw. Yeah. Running the molding through the saw. Luckily. I have a sound muffle over here. Oh yeah, I was trying to say it earlier. I can't remember if I finished what I was saying because I got distracted. But I tried the soundproofing because, you know, I still have like 13 of these left. Because it made 18 or 16 or whatever when you made one. Uh, but I tried it over there. That's just quiet and not often right now. But unfortunately, it doesn't stop the noise of those goblins. It doesn't stop entity sounds. It doesn't seem. So... Um, you know, the, the, the annoyance of the mob farm is not stoppable by that soundproofing block. So, let's see, molding, yes. Plant fiber, I probably should have left that in there. Get rid of one of these many strings. Oh, those are hemp. I need a bigger chest here. I might have to splurge and get a... Higher than iron over here. Hmm. Oh well, I'll just leave that for later. Here we go. String, yes. Why is this a missing item? I have tons of string. Oh, no I don't. I took it out because I thought that was both string. Hmm. Let's get rid of the. Oh, that was a bad idea. Get rid of the brick. No. Okay. My auto chest is not working as much as I wanted to. Okay, so we got the chimes. And now we just need a piston. Which is just 
more siding an iron plate oh I don't have any cobblestone in this thing that's the funny thing I have so much cobblestone I actually needed where are that um more chests up here I actually had to get another double which was just easier to make because for whatever reason you make four chest or four drawers when you make a double but when you make a single or you just get one it's weird okay one oh, I didn't get enough cups so I need at least two let's see if I can make this many I can make three make a total of four that, that'll get me started okay so got this got some redstone I'm gonna see if I can get this to work now unfortunately I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I didn't really want to do it out here, but we'll see. So up here. Oh, I don't have any way to collect it out here. Yeah, we'll we'll do it inside. Um, we'll have to make a room for it. Huh. I guess I'll just have to make a chest and some hoppers if I don't have some made. Oh, I have a hopper. And a regular. Well, actually, I don't even need to make a chest. I do still have these millions upon millions of copper chests. But I'm not. Did I now know I can upgrade, I guess? I thought I couldn't. But I always had to build them from the starting level chest. So it's like if you do the starting level chest, it's just a bunch of plates. If you do the upgrades, you have to do like every upgrade before the one or whatever. It's kind of weird. So this is going to actually make it a little easier. Um, let's get our whopper. Let's block the water off just quick. Oh man. I have enough blocks. Wow, oh, I don't have it. There we go. Funny thing is, you need water to put your key down, but once it's down, it can kill the water and it's fine. Okay, so. Get our hoppers. Hmm. We need a place to put the chest. Just got to put it right here. And we need the chest. This is going to be a very, very, very small sugar cane farm. I'm just relying more on the fact that I have it going a lot. Normally, you'd want. A couple rows because you know it doesn't grow super fast. Okay, that's we'll do this one too. And we're not going to do these ones. We're going to put them over here. Oh, they got to go down one. My bad. So you have to have, well, I can just raise those up. It's easier. I think. Because they have to be underneath water. For the, oops. So this is just so it catches the spill off. Okay, now that's done. 
I'm going to do that to make sure the water doesn't go. Okay, we need our sand back. Okay, now I'm trying to figure out how to do this. It's gonna be a big mess. There we go. We got all of this. Hmm. I was wor more worried about the redstone aspect of this. I didn't worry enough about the freaking regular blocks. There we go. Well, this is going to look like absolute crap right now, but maybe I'll fix it later. But this should work. Oops, we need to make it flow. Come on, we want our cobblestone back. Why? Wow. Come. Where's my axe? Why did it do that? There we go, finally it's flowing. Hmm. Can't get to go over there. One more. Water is so weird. Well, that one spot's just not going to get it. I wasn't going to put one there anyway, but I wanted to catch it in case the stuff flew. So let's get rid of these. Maybe we just there trying to make the water spread. There we go. Okay. Sugar cane. Sugar cane. Oh, yeah, that one can't have any. Hmm. This. Is there water underneath? That is very weird. There we go. So, pistons. Do we have any more cobblestone? Of course not. We're going to use marble. So what rare resource? Just because it looks better than freaking wood. Oops. Okay, so piston. Facing out this way. Facing out this way. No, it might shoot some of them all over the place because I'm not going to have a third one, I 
don't think. And a piston out this way. There we go. So. This might lose a couple, but it should work. Maybe. Now, am I not even smart enough to have a lever so I can... Well, I can just put the chimes up and test. Okay. So. Let's do this. Redstone a lot of it. Really scientifically perfect. And do this. Put the chimes up and see if it works. Single worst. Okay. Yeah, it does, guys. And if it works when it rains. It'll do it every once in a great while, and it'll get me some consistent. Let's do this and see what happens. So I got eight. The chest has none, I hope. Oops. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And it might lose. Okay, I picked up one accidentally. Picked up two. That one not break. Ah. Okay, so when the piston extends, it breaks the block. Okay. I do not remember that from Minecraft before, but we'll work with it. And this is going to look even uglier because I ran out of the block type. The marble, I'm going to at least have it be the same direction, but I have an axe on me. Okay, so this might work. Oh, I need one. Oh, no. Yeah, that's just so weird. Okay, so I still have 10, 11, two of them made it in there, so it's not particularly great. Let's try this again with all of them. You could probably save on redstone if you wanted by making more Okay, so yeah, this is sucks, but it's good works for now, I guess. I think the main issue is I'm using this existing stream feature, and the water currents, as you can see, is just everywhere. It's not a sealed environment. I'll probably work on making a sealed one in my base later, but this actually worked. I was a little curious if it would. Um, obviously, it's only going to tick on its own whenever... Um, it rains which is you know every other minecraft day or so which is not the best and then I could I thought about speeding it up by having like have it basically over here or something like this over here by my fish area because every once in a while a fish spawns and it plops around on my floor here if I had a wind chime right over where the fishes fly out maybe they would trigger it as well you know, or I could have it in the mob spawner, but that'd be kicking off all the time. But that worked. That was my first redstone attempt on this uh, mod pack. And, you know, other than the weird things like, um, I can't remember not being able to put redstone on the top of pistons. I used to always do that. And for whatever reason, when they extend now, it breaks the redstone. I don't know if that's a vanilla thing that changed, or is it just for this mod pack? But yeah, guys, um, this is just a guy. I'm... Um, huh.
That was very weird. But maybe a second there I triggered that from the top. But they all just went off for some reason. Oops. Oh well. I don't know. It's very weird. I probably just need way more hoppers to catch my stuff considering how spread out everything is. But yeah guys, let's see what else we can do. Because I don't know how things may be like 10-15 minutes. I don't ever pay attention to my clock when I start. I probably should get a stopwatch or something. Because I want to try to keep my episodes about a half an hour. I know they often go longer when I'm trying to do something specific. But, you know, because it's just... I don't think anybody wants to sit there for an hour and a half, you know, do something. So, we got the redstone pistons. I'm trying to think of what else. I mean, I could make a wheat farm with flushing water, but I still have to plant it, which is worse than just the right click method they got. So what else we got? We got the redstone. Oh, the spikes. Yes, yeah, so let's try the spikes. And we should have a bunch of iron bars because I stole them from the Lich's tower. If I can remember where I put them. Yeah, they're not there. Are they in my... Nope, not my lich's area. I might have just put them in my chest over there. My crafty chest. Or I could just make iron bars, although I'm real. There we go. I'm actually kind of low in iron. Not iron in general. I think I have like five iron blocks here and some more over there. But I'm running out of iron ingots because I keep repairing my armor. All these trips to the hollow almost always break my armor. And one ingot repairs me to about 90% or so, and then my ticking does some more, but I just take too much damage over there. My tools, for the most part, have been keeping up. The arrows are really getting beat up because I use my bow a lot, but the bow itself is holding up pretty good. My sword is fine because I barely use the thing. And my pickaxe, you know, it's up to 700 and some, considering it was down to 600 and some, it's, and I've still been using it a lot, as you've seen in this episode. So it's, it's still doing okay. But the armor's just constantly beat up. But yeah, let's do the iron spikes and see how these work. Uh, stone pressure plates. It have to be chisel stone. One. Now I need more of these. Two. I don't know why the multi thing isn't working. There we go. These make two. And let's see how these work. Um, oh, those are very annoying sounds, but let's try. I want to go back because I need a freaking lever. Maybe. Or this redstone emitter seems to be something I might need. I'm not gonna make it right now because it needs wicker, and which means I need way more uh, um, sugar canes to make wicker. Which is kind of why I was thinking of building that farm. That was just sort of a proof of concept thing to see that yes, it does work. Um, I'm gonna have to make it more efficient and possibly bigger to keep up because su surprisingly, sugar cane is a very common thing. Like all those punji sticks I make take uh, sugar cane. All those wicker like takes like. Four things of wicker to make a wicker slab, and then four things of wicker slabs to make a wicker box, and all that stuff to make one piece of wool and all that. But yeah, so let's make a lever. Uh, let's just steal it off of this recipe. Because huh. we're going to try out these spikes. Unfortunately... Hmm... Unfortunately, that ghost thing is going to kick my butt. I need an enemy that's... going Here. I need an enemy... Super dark. Okay, there we go. 
And I always count on enemies being here. I guess they don't despawn. Okay. Let's see if we can get this to work and see how it works. Now, carefully, I can't hurt the guy because I want to make sure it. Hmm. Oh, wow, they just. That's. It's unfortunate uh, if they have to tick on and off to do damage. But where'd that zombie go? Hey. Look at me, I'm over here. But those look awesome. Did they get trapped on them? They don't do very much damage. But I'm more interested to see how. Oh man, I wanted to know if they count as a player kill. Fortunately, I don't have enough of them. Okay, so what I gotta do is move him closer to the wall, I think, so he'll stand on him when he looks up at me. Unfortunately, you can't accidentally hit him as the issue. Ah, another one. Ow. Let's see if that one in there is good enough. Okay, so he's taking very, very little damage. I would say it's no better than Punji 6. He's taking a little better. It's like a half a heart a second. But. Oh man. Even Punji sticks kill faster than this, I think. Wow, uh, for taking this much iron. No, I don't see any XP balls. I guess the only advantage of these is you can turn them off. So if you wanted to get into your killing chamber, you can um do so. Ah, I can see what he's wearing now. Like, complete list of items. So no, he just dropped regular loot. But... You know, we'll call it a win. I mean, whatever. Considering how much harder iron is to get. Oh, wow, I don't have an inventory to pick it up. How much harder iron is to get than bamboo? kind of annoying on the bright side you do get iron bars all over the place in dungeons so that's one thing and like I said you could turn it on and off except I don't have a good way to transmit redstone yet so to do like the whole floor over there with these I'd have to have basically um, levers on the bottom of all the blocks but yeah guys um Probably gonna call this the episode. Um, got all the redstoney things that I could think of out of the way. I'm not sure what else I could do with pistons. Turn on and off a waterfall, maybe. But that's about it. But yeah, I'm gonna have to move this somewhere better. And I could also put my widget thing on there, so anywhere in the world I'm in, it would stay loaded. I don't get rot sick from rotten flesh. That's very weird. I thought I did in this mod pack. I, I think I... It's been a very long time since I ate rotten flesh. But... 
Anyways, guys, this is Just a Guy signing off. Catch you later. Bye.